Good evening, Primetime Squad. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well. This is about the second or third time I done came to you guys today. <laughs> so I hope you caught my other um, two prior videos. Um, I did one on being what it's like being a moderator on a YouTube channel. And also I did one on notifying you guys of my other um, my new new YouTube, my new YouTube channel that I'll be going live from, <clears throat> excuse me, from now on, and that YouTube channel is Tanya, Tanya's Live, Primetime TV slash Media Reviews, and I will post the link into the comment section so you guys can just click on the link and it'll take you right there. And for those of you guys watching from uh, Facebook or Instagram, again, it's Tanya's Live. Primetime TV slash media reviews on YouTube. That's my new channel that I will be going live from from now on. I'll still be going live on uh, on my Instagram as well. So, you know, don't worry about that. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is my new channel. So make sure you look it up. Tanya's live primetime TV slash media reviews. But anyway, today we are going to talk about Black Ink Chicago. And I'm a little behind. So I will be... Um, going over the last two episodes of Black Ink Chicago. And I must say, I don't know if it was a good thing so far. I, so far. I don't know if it's a good thing that Ryan has allowed some of the old crew to merge with the new crew. <laughs> I don't know that yet, but we shall see. But anyway, um, Charmaine. Charmaine, she is destined and determined to make her stamp on a newly renovated Black Ink crew. Instead of remaining the same ditzy girl, her words, that she's used to being known for, um, how do y'all think she's doing so far? Mm, still ditzy? <laughs> or nah? <laughs> y'all let me know. And what about her new title? I mean, it's obvious that she gave it to herself because Ryan, he was looking all crazy when she said uh, what her new title was. He's like, huh? <laughs> but her new title that she gave herself is now Celebrity Concierge. And I'm like, what the heck is a Celebrity Concierge? <laughs> Y'all tell me because I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> the first event that she sets the crew up with is at the World Tattoo Trade Show in Vegas. And per Charmaine, this is like the biggest, most high-profile event in the tattoo industry. And it's invite only. So therefore, Nine Mag, definitely, definitely, they have to show up and show out. <laughs> and as far as Don goes, um... Don, he wasn't going to take this trip. Not because he didn't want to, you know, because of past trips that they didn't have that kind of, you know, <laughs> went downhill. But being that he's with Ashley again, she, you know, moved back from Texas, you know, to rejoin him and their other son together, you know, to try to mend their marriage. And he's really been stepping up and proving himself to be a better hubby and father to Ashley, which is, you know, really cool on his part. So instead of taking a trip to the tattoo convention, like he normally would in the past, he decided to stay home for his son's fifth birthday party. And when they're out sitting around, you know, chilling, enjoying a nice dinner or over drinks or whatnot, I was like, what the heck is wrong with Ashley? She kept, like, holding her hand over her face and, you know, her words were muffled and everything. And I'm like, what is wrong with this chick? But then he was like, um, why you keep covering up your mouth? And when she dropped her hands, y'all, and grinned so hard <laughs> and so bright. <laughs> She was so showing off a fresh pair. I mean, a fresh pair of braces. He didn't even know she was getting braces. Don was like, how the heck you not going to tell me that you were buying braces? Because, okay, of course, they, they a married couple. So, of course, they share the finances. They they help. They both help pay bills, you know, and take care of house and home. And she goes out to get braces without telling him. 
And not only that, but he's like, who the heck waits till they are our age to get braces? <laughs> I mean, that girl. <laughs> I actually thought she looked kind of cute in her braces, but she was beaming. She was cheesing so hard. Like, she was so proud of her braces and everything. And I'm like, is there really an age that's too old to get braces? I mean, really? I, I just feel like if you can afford them and you want them, I mean, go for it. But the excuse, <laughs> the excuse that she gave Don to why she got the braces is what got me. She said that her doctor told her that sometimes women, after they have several children, their teeth begin to like pull apart or something. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I have never heard that before. Have you guys heard that before? I have never in my entire life on this earth heard that before. But if it's true, I mean, she said a doctor said it, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but um, Van, what is up with Van messing around with Evanita? <sighs> At first, he kept telling everybody, you know, she's just my apprentice. She's a cool person, you know. She just wants to eventually learn how to tattoo. But come on, y'all. I know I was not the only one who could see right through that BS. Like, she ain't just your apprentice. You might be teaching her something, but it's not tattooing. Talking about he's just trying to teach her her, her strokes. <laughs> teach her how to do her strokes. <laughs> I'm like, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> He ain't referring to tattooing. <laughs> he is not referring to tattooing. But then I'm like, when they got when they got to Vegas, um, the Michael Jackson impersonator, y'all, y'all, I was dead. I was like, put me to sleep now. That Michael Jackson impersonator that welcomed them at their Airbnb. I was like, what in the entire head? Okay, who's teaching the like Mike classes? Yes, I said the like Mike classes in Vegas. Like, not only was he not a good dancer, but why was he also stalking them all around the rental house? Like, everywhere you turn. <laughs> now, mind you, he had already did his little moonwalk or whatever he was trying to do. His, I don't know what he was trying to do. His, you know, um, <laughs> when they got there, <laughs> which was an epic fail, epic fail. <laughs> but then, like, every every time somebody was in their room, he would just pop up. He would just appear in the room, like, like you know, and they're like, uh, hey, Mike, hey. And he's like, I just want to make sure that you guys, you know, have a wonderful trip and welcome you to Vegas. Hee, 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 Y'all, I'm telling you, I was, I was hollering. <laughs> they was like, well, thanks, Mike. You know, thanks. That's really nice of you. And then next thing you know, he done popped up in somebody else's room. I'm like, why is he still there? I think he was looking for a tip, y'all. <laughs> I think he was waiting on a tip. Like, I didn't see nobody tip him. And maybe he's accustomed to, you know, when somebody rents out his services that they tip him. You know, he tip his hat, you know, and like a street dancer or something. They put some coins in there or something. I didn't see nobody tip him nothing. But I think that's why he kept popping up in all their rooms, stalking them all around the house. <laughs> but finally, finally, when they were sitting around, you know, doing their little puff puff pads because you know they had you saw they had stopped at the uh weedery to get some mary jane you know before they got to the crib so they offered mike some puff puff pads dude was like hee 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 <laughs> y'all that was so funny i'm like where did they get this michael jackson they need to throw the whole MJ away. <laughs> throw the whole MJ away. Gloves and all. I was like, no. No. <laughs> he needs to retire. <laughs> or get some lessons from somebody who can really, really imitate Michael Jackson. Because he was not he was not getting it. Mm -mm -mm. But anyway. Anyway. Back to Miss Evanita. And her showing up in Vegas. Now. She didn't show up on her own 
Van did invite her, but he could have given Charmaine notice that she was coming, you know, so maybe Charmaine could possibly get a bigger space for them, a bigger rental home for them, you know, so everybody could have, like, comfortable sleeping quarters. Everybody was like, who the heck? Where is she sleeping? Where is she supposed to sleep? Wasn't nobody trying to offer her no bed or no flow in their bedroom. Like, nobody. Uh, they like, uh-uh, uh-uh. You can't have my couch. You can't have my flow. You can't have my bed. I don't know where you going to sleep. And then Bella. <laughs> we already know Bella don't like her. <laughs> we already know Bella don't like her. But it did. It doesn't seem like anybody else is really too fond of her either. You know, besides Van. Besides Van. <laughs> but Bella, she was like, um... I know where she can sleep. She can sleep right in the garage for all she cares. I was like, oh my God, Bella. Stop, Bella, please. <laughs> Lily was like, you, you really need to chill out, Bella, because I am so tired of defending you. I'm tired of having your back. Um, You just be doing too much. And I can't keep doing this over dumb stuff. And then on top of that, you still got stitches in your damn eye, girl. Like, you still got stitches in your eye. You still recuperating from that. You still got a little darkness around your eye because you had a black eye. You still got stitches in your head. But instead of, okay, okay, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. Okay. She instead runs her drunk butt off into her bedroom throws herself across the bed, and starts to have a temper tantrum like a little kid, crying and stuff over what Lily said. Like, Lily was trying to really be mature about this. Mind you, Lily did say, once I turn 25, I'm going to try to act a little more mature, a little more of an adult, you know, because y'all know how we, y'all know how Lily be wilding out. Y'all already know. But she goes in there after her, knock, 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 you know, try to see what's wrong. She's up there just so upset because now she thinks Lily's turning on her or I don't know. The girl had your back every single time. But because she's trying to tell you to chill out with all this arguing and fussing and fighting, you know, because people get tired of it. She wants to, oh, now you turning on me. So they get into an argument. She ended up up there to knock Lily's drink out of her hand. And I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, Lily, she has definitely matured. <laughs> definitely. She definitely has matured. I, I give her that. A as far as up to now that I can see, she has definitely, I don't know what's going to happen in the future, <laughs> but she has definitely matured. Y'all know, in the past, Lily would have beat that A-S-S. Y'all already know. But she just sat there and sat there on the bed Lily was, I know she was fuming on the inside, but she was like, this is my friend. This is my friend. She's upset right now. I'm going to just sit here, and I'm not going to do anything. I know she was like, <laughs> right had her fist balled up to her side. But anyway, Lily has definitely matured so far. Again, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> but then, when they finally got to the first day of the tattoo convention after waking up extremely late... Because they all went in the night before and got wasted. Um, Charmaine what, did not keep her word. How you not going to have any banners, first of all, to set up at your booth to rep your brand? This is a tattoo convention. This is, as she said, I mean, a high-profile convention. Um, it's invite only, invite only. You have to apply to go and they have, you just can't fill out an application. We come in, what's the fee? No, you have to fill out the application. They got to check your credentials and then they can tell you if you can come or not come. Invite only. You didn't bring no banners to set up to rep your brand. <laughs> this girl, did y'all see it? She had chairs lined up on top of the tables and had the t-shirts like pulled down over the chairs you know to rep they <laughs> rep they brand Ryan was like oh my god I can't believe this how embarrassing he was pissed he was like hold up 
hold up. Not only did you not show up beforehand, because you, you know, you're the uh, celebrity concierge, as you would say. You know, you got this new big old title, girl. You should have got there in enough time to make sure everything was prepared. On top of that, Ryan wasn't even on the list to tattoo. He wasn't even registered. So then they had to switch Lily out and then put Ryan in his spot. And I'm like, thank God the officials or whatever they called, you know, um, thank God they are they allowed that because I just knew. I just knew Ryan was not about to tattoo and going to pack up all his stuff and take the next plane home if they didn't allow him to tattoo. He's the boss. You know, he's the boss of the brand. He's the brand. And she didn't even register him. Now, I don't know if it was Charmaine's fault or if it was the tattoo convention's fault, but like Ryan said, you know, you should have been there first thing to make sure everything was set up because you set this up for them. You know, she's one of the ones that's not tattooing. She's one of the ones that don't have a tattoo li license. So she should have made sure, you know, it was straight for everybody else. But I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she failed at that one. But then also, um, Bella, who got into a fight, you know, at the Nine Mag Halloween party that they threw, she had promised Lily that she's not going to fight in Vegas at all. Um, she's still recovering, you know, from the black eye and from those stitches she got on her eye, so she shouldn't be fighting anyway. <laughs> But I have to give it up to Bella for trying to be the better person, to, for trying to be the bigger person. You know when Evanita pulled that chair from underneath her and pushed her off that chair just so she can sit next to Van? It couldn't be me. I don't care if I promise Ryan, God, Lily, Van. I don't care. We would have been fighting. She, The way she put that chair up and start pushing her with the chair and pulling it from under her just so she can sit next to Van? Like, ain't no, um, excuse me, can I please have this chair? Can we do a little switcheroo, you know, something like that? No, get, I need this chair. I need this chair so I can sit next to Van. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, I give it up to you, Bella. I give it up to you, Bella, because somebody else would have tried to beat Evanita with that doggone chair. I mean, right over her head. <laughs> but anyway, y'all know I don't condone violence. I done said it before. I don't condone violence, but I do condone self-defense. But anyway, I'm glad that Van actually spoke up and checked Evanita on her behavior because she was way out of pocket. I mean, after she stole the chair from Bella, she gonna sit down right next to Van, right in front of his customer he's tattooing, talking about what's up with you and your girl. What's going on with you and your girl? And he's like, um, what's going on is we not about to talk about it right now. Don't you see I have a customer here? Don't you see, girl, I'm in the middle of a tattoo? She was like, well, when we gonna talk about it? When is a good time to talk about it? See? I knew from the jump that she was not just an apprentice because, okay, ladies and fellas, y'all know, ain't no jump off that you just hit the night before gonna be asking you the very next day when we gonna talk about your girl. The very next day? <laughs> no. This must have been something that's been going on and going on. And he been putting it off or, you know, either changing the subject or something whenever she mentions Jen. That's what I think. And I also think, you know, the entire reason why she was going in on Bella was also because she was upset with Van. Because she knows she's getting played. And she's upset. So she wanted to take it out on somebody and... Bella just had to, <laughs> she just had to be the one. Sorry, Bella. <laughs> you was there. Wrong time, wrong place. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> because after Van blatantly dismisses her, she starts popping off at Bella. Like I said, 
Wrong time, wrong place. But yeah, she had it in for Bella too. I think she still had it in for Bella. She knocked their chicken wings out of her hand. I was like, okay, Bella. I'm just sitting here like, okay, she pushed you out the chair. She, she, she pushed through you out the chair darn near to get that chair to sit next to Van. Now, she done walked up to you and just slapped your chicken wings. And them wings look good. I'm going to tell you right now, them wings look good. I know she bought them at a tattoo convention. But y'all know how sometimes those conventions at them um, stadiums or whatnot, auditoriums, they be having some good food. <laughs> they be having some good food. So I'm sure them wings were good because she was slapping her fingers up and everything. She comes over there and knocks her wings out of her hand. And I'm like, at first. Who does this chick think she really is? Evanita, ever who? Who? The, uh, Evanita would never ever do no mess like that to me. And then secondly, I'm like, okay, I'm now absolutely convinced that Bella cannot fight. <laughs> she cannot fight too well anyway because Evanita had her good by her hair. She had her good by her hair and was punching her and dragging her all around the flow. If it was not for security, Bella would probably have received some more stitches. Not on that eye, but on the other eye. <laughs> and another black eye, I'm sure. I was like, Bella. Ooh, Bella need to get her weight up. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I do not convey. I'm telling y'all, for real, I swear, right hand of God, I don't condone violence, but I do condone self-defense. Bella needs to get her weight up. She needs to start lifting some weight. She needs to go to 24-hour uh, <laughs> Planet Fitness somewhere, Gold's Gym, <laughs> somewhere and get her weight up. But anyway, <laughs> Ryan, he was like... Man, y'all for real, for real, y'all up here fighting. I mean, from Charmaine not taking care of the paperwork like she was expected to, uh, <laughs> to him, <laughs> to them fighting at the tattoo convention. I mean, I don't know. And, and mind you, Evanita did bait Bella into a fight, but to Ryan, that didn't matter. Y'all still fought. Y'all embarrassed me. Y'all embarrassed my brand. And I still believe, you know, it was because she was wanting a bigger role in Van's life as far as Evanita. And she just needed somebody to take it all out on. I mean, ain't nobody else was really messing with her. Ain't nobody trying to fool with that girl besides Van. But still, no excuse, no excuse. Evanita, no excuse. No matter why you went upside her head, there's no excuse. But then, hold up. <laughs> We find out that Van's girlfriend, Jen, is arriving on day two. And Van slept with Evanita the night before on day one. Like, how could he possibly allow Jen to come down there knowing Evanita is already in her fifis? And, of course, Van is blaming, what, the I, 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 alcohol, you know, for his excuse why he slept with Evanita the night before. I don't think Jen's going to buy that excuse. I really don't. I don't think she's going to excuse him because he was drunk. And he seems to always be drunk. But, but, that's a, that's a whole nother <laughs> subject. But anyway, Charmaine, who claimed that she didn't want, you know, anybody no longer labeling her as a ditz, she comes back with huge blow-up pics of some old pictures of the Nine Mad Crew, and she puts them in big picture frames. Then she hangs them up on the wall all around the house, their rental house. I'm like, girl, that ain't even your house. How you putting them big old holes in the walls of that property owner's home to hang up them big, these pigs, the pigs, okay, pigs like you would hang in your own house over your beautiful wood table or behind your beautiful big couch or along your beautiful, long, high hallway. <laughs> These ain't no little pics. She got some big, huge pictures with some big old frames. And I'm like, 
they all looking at her like, okay, Charmaine, the pictures are nice, but did you handle the paperwork this morning like you were supposed to? Unlike you did yesterday? She's up there like, uh, uh, oops. Uh, I messed up. I messed up. But anyway, whoever wants to go to the tattoo convention, come on, let's go. <laughs> this is your new celebrity concierge, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> this is your new celebrity concierge. <laughs> I'm like, ooh wee, Charmaine. I think you are now at the top of Ryan's get to step and list. Right under Bella and right under Evanita. <laughs> he about to throw the whole Charmaine away. <laughs> but anyway, I mean, can y'all recall, for y'all who've been following me for a minute, can y'all recall last season how I told Ryan not to hire Bella? Like, I specifically said from right here in this seat, Ryan, do not hire that drunk. I, I'm just like, y'all saw how she was like white girl wasted all last season, all through the entire last season, even during her interview. And then Ryan allows like almost the entire old crew to mess with the new crew. I mean, it's like so many different personalities in there and everybody's always drinking and Bella, she's always white girl wasted and I don't know. I don't know, Ryan. I, I don't know if you should have allowed the old crew to come back. I don't know. Even Shine, he had the cute white boy, the cute white boy. He had to pull Ryan's coattail and holler at him about his crew. Like, instead of staying around and being a witness to any more drama, he was like, I'm sorry, Ryan, but I got to bounce. I can't do this. This isn't what I had signed up for. This is not what I had expected. But then I'm like, I'm sure he was a fan of the show before he actually joined the show. So, therefore, I'm sure he knew how the crew really got down. But, anyway... Deuces, Shine. Deuces. It's been real. It's been real. <laughs> but let's get back to uh, Van and Jen. When Jen strutted her butt through that door to their Airbnb, Evanita was like, Hey, Van, are you good? Jen's spidey senses stood straight up. Not straight up, but her spidey senses stood straight up. Then, Evanita busted into their bedroom again, talking about, Hey, Van, are you good? <laughs> she was like, <laughs> Should I have went to a hotel? Like, what's really going on here? <laughs> and she's still knocking on their door after he dismisses her. She's like, Van, we're about to go into the hot tub. The only thing I was thinking at that point was somebody better hide Bella. <laughs> because y'all saw what happened the last time when Van pissed off Evanita. <laughs> but then he finally, after Jen, you know, started wearing him down by sweating him, he finally confessed to sleeping with Evanita the prior night. Now, they've been together like 10 plus years. And Van done cheated on her like 5, 11, 50 times. <laughs> Instead of packing her stuff and bouncing like I would have, she tells him basically if he really wants to be with her, then prove it by making her his wife. Hmm. And since they're in Vegas, <laughs> Van was like, why not? Why not? We're already here. You know, we're in Vegas. I really want to be with Jen. I mean, I I don't know if he was just telling her what she wanted to hear or not. But anyway, the crew was like, what the hell? And when Charmaine told them, you know, the unbelievable news, they was like, what the hell? Are you serious? Van's getting married today? Tonight? We got to get dressed to now? <laughs> Everybody started.
started getting ready to go see them get married by Elvis and them. And when Evanita realized what was going on, her face just cracked. I mean, her face just cracked. She was like, Van, it's getting married to who? Uh, it sure ain't you. With your home recognized, the show ain't you. <laughs> she was so upset. She was like, okay, y'all on some BS. I'm out of here. I'm packing my bags and I'm out of here. They was like, all right, deuces, B.I. They don't like her anyway. So they was like, okay, finally she's leaving. Finally she's going home. They didn't want you there anyway. But I had a strong feeling that wedding was not going to take place. Because, I mean, first of all, First of all, Van got totally twisted that day. He was drinking all day. He was down in drink after drink after drink. More than one different type of drink. He was slurring at the altar and cursing. Like the pastor is sitting there right there. And he's like, I'm sorry, pastor. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> Jen went out and she bought a whole, like, a whole wedding dress, the gown, the veil. She bought everything. And he showed up in his street clothes smelling like a whole bottle of liquor. And then, makes matters worse, he tells her in front of everybody, everybody, that he's only marrying her because she wants him to. I was like, damn. <laughs> Ryan, that's messed up. I mean, Van, that's messed up. Why well, I say Ryan? I mean, Van, that's messed up. Poor Jen, she was looking so sad. I mean, I really felt sorry for her. But then on the other hand, I'm like, Jen, you knew this man wasn't ready to get married. Um, She claimed that she already knew he was going to, you know, get cold feet. Talking about she just wanted to see if he was really going to go through with it or not. But what do y'all think? Do y'all think she really wanted to get married? Or do y'all think she was just testing Van? I actually think she probably really wanted to get married. And I actually think she probably really wanted to get married. Not because she really wanted to get married. But because of that chick, Evanita was there. She knew that they had slept together the night before. And I think by pressuring him to marry her... And Evanita there to witness that? It was like, okay, you know, what's that song? I can't remember the name of that song. He's Mine. Remember that song? He's Mine. You may have had him once, but I got him all the time. Remember that song? <laughs> who, I don't know who sung that song, but I used to love that song back in the day. But anyway, you know, kind of try to, you know, throw one in her face. Like, okay, you might have had him last night. You might have had him, you know, plenty of nights. <laughs> but I'm about to be his wife. So I don't know. I don't know. Y'all let me know how, what y'all uh, think about that. And hey, Garen on uh, Instagram, <laughs> you tuning in right when I'm about to end my little live review of um, Black Ink. But anyway, you guys, let me know what you thought about the uh, episodes. And also let me know what you think about Jan and Van and their um, wedding or lack of a wedding. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think about it and put it all in the comments. And don't forget my new YouTube channel. Go over there. It's Tanya's Live Primetime TV Media Reviews. That's my new YouTube channel. I will be going live from over there. And I will also put the link in the comment section of the video. So anyway, in the meantime and in between time, Primetime Squad... Stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces. Have a good evening.